Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. As you know, I recently had my third baby and now we are five months postpartum and he is five months old. And today I wanted to talk about where I've been. Unfortunately, I did have to take a little bit of a mental health break because I have been struggling severely and I wanted to talk about my experience with postpartum depression and how it has been for me and how I have been recovering and getting the help that I need. I will say straight up that the best thing you can do for anyone you know who just had a baby is show them a lot of kindness and support. You really don't know what they're going through. A lot of the contributing factors to having postpartum depression is having that lack of emotional support. I do encourage you if you are currently going through postpartum depression or you are pregnant and you feel like you may, if you are prone to having depression, please reach out to your spouse. Please reach out to your family, any friends that you feel comfortable talking to. You can also email me. I have my email down in the video description because this is something you should not go through alone. And I also want to give a trigger warning that this does involve some tough topics. So let's talk about it. I came outside. My husband is watching the kids. I didn't want to talk about this in front of the kids because this is not something I really want the kids to hear. I think to myself a lot how it is very strange how we tried to conceive for our third baby for years and also had multiple recurrent miscarriages as well in our trying to conceive journey and I was so anxious my entire pregnancy with him and then when I give birth immediately the day after he was born I struggle with postpartum depression. It doesn't make sense at all. And that's one thing I do want to say straight up. I do want to explain really fast and preface by saying that me having postpartum depression literally has nothing to do with my kids at all. It's all a mental health issue. It's also a hormonal issue from having such a drastic drop in hormones after pregnancy. It also can have to do with the trauma of your birth experience. I didn't really have trauma this experience this time around, but that definitely can affect it. My kids are amazing. All three of them were planned. I have thoroughly enjoyed being their mother. I thank God every single day for such a huge blessing as my kids. They're honestly pretty easy kids to take care of. They bring me joy every day. I would not want to do life without them. Every single day I am amazed that I have these three amazing, beautiful kids that God gave to me to carry and to raise. I always wanted to be a mother and now I'm getting that dream. And I think because of that overwhelming feeling of this is what I've wanted for so long, it's almost like it it's so overwhelming that it's it can be kind of hard to cope with those emotions of just being extremely happy. A lot of us mothers after we have our kids, we do experience baby blues. And baby blues is different than postpartum depression. Baby blues can include mood swings, anxiety, difficult sleeping. Baby blues can begin two to three days after birth and can last for up to two weeks. Now the difference between baby blues and postpartum depression is baby blues kind of comes and then it goes pretty quickly whereas postpartum depression is a lot more severe and it continues on for a lot longer of a period. Having postpartum depression is not a character flaw or a weakness. So I want to talk about like the hallmark postpartum depression symptoms. These are the typical ones that you experience when you have this. The first one obviously is having a depressed mood or severe mood swings. You also can be crying a lot. If you have postpartum depression you may also have trouble sleeping which isn't it crazy that you're extremely tired but you can't 
rest. You cannot allow your brain to shut off. With depression also comes lack of interest in the things that you used to love. You also can be intensely irritable and angry. You also can have this very big fear that you are not a good mother. And this one is key for my postpartum depression. You can have feelings of hopelessness, of worthlessness, shame, guilt, or inadequacy, which is also key to mine. Reduced ability to think clearly, concentrate, or make decisions. You also can have restlessness. Severe anxiety and panic attacks is very common. You also can have thoughts of harming yourself, which is part of my postpartum depression. You could have reoccurring thoughts of being unalive. Please just understand that you're definitely not alone and it has nothing to do with our kids at all. This has nothing to do with my kids at all. They're actually the reason that I'm still here today. It has nothing to do with them. They are my inspiration. They give me purpose. They bring me joy and I'm so excited to watch them grow up and see what they have in store for their lives and I want to be there for them every step of the way. This is a mental health issue. This is what's going on upstairs. I also do believe in spiritual warfare and being attacked by demons. They are, they have been attacking me pretty harsh. I've been attacked very harshly with postpartum depression. It started the day after I gave birth. I did mention in other videos that I had extreme anger just out of nowhere. Okay, um... I did notice, I did start to notice that the first couple of days home were very difficult because I was not getting any sleep at all and I was also not producing a lot of breast milk so my baby was hungry and so I would just have to stay up all night long helping him nurse and he was cluster feeding so that was really difficult. Me and my husband, we have three December babies. Immediately after I had my son, we also had to start planning two other birthday parties for our kids. And then it was Christmas, New Year's, New Year's Eve, all that. Very, a lot of stuff at one time. So that really did preoccupy my mind a lot. But I did feel extremely that my kids would be better off without me. That I was not doing them any favors. That I was hindering them in their life. And that other people would do a better job than me. And so... On New Year's Eve, I didn't even know it was New Year's Eve. It was at its peak and the thoughts to unalive myself were very strong and We had, um, I really don't know how much detail I want to go in, but I did separate myself from my family. I walked outside, all the kids and were inside the house with my husband, and I had a lot of thoughts inside of me telling me to just end it, just be done because your family will be better off without you. And I, I had a plan. I had a way to do it that would be successful. And I sat there and stared at what I was going to do. And I sat there and stared at it for a couple of minutes. And almost having this like uncontrollable feeling of just do it, just do it, just do it. And I felt a little scratch at my leg. And I looked down. And my husband's dog is staring at me. And... I tell you, I think dogs are angels. I really do. Because they're just, they're just there for you. And they love you unconditionally. And this dog is my husband's dog. And he's helped us out a lot. 
let's just put it that way, he has helped us out tremendously. I don't know if you've seen my other videos, but I've talked about him before. He has helped us out. And I started petting him. Crying. And I just needed, I just needed that. I just needed someone to be there for me. I did continue to have these emotions and feelings and intrusive thoughts constantly. And I still do, to this day, have some thoughts. It is hard to get over this feeling. But I did tell my husband about a month later about this incident. And I asked him, will you please remove those items from our house that I was going to use so that I stop feeling like that plan will work and that I will get that out of my head. And so immediately he got rid of it. It's gone. This has been a problem for me and I needed to do something drastically different to help myself. One thing is that when I have a newborn, I stay home because I don't want them to get sick because if they get sick they and they have a fever and you can't control it, you have to take them to the hospital and they have to have like all this stuff. Like, so I'm always very afraid of that. So I isolate myself at home, but me being isolated at home, I'm someone who has seasonal depression. I have to have sunlight. If I don't get it, I'm very depressed. And so I'm dealing with all of that. So... One thing I started to do, I actually seen another YouTuber, Katherine Manning, and she recently had a baby too. And I seen where she made this IG reel that every day she goes and gets coffee as her morning routine. And she just gets out of the house. And so I started implementing that in my life. So every day I would get up early and I would take the kids with me. And my husband would come too because he's so supportive of me. And we go get Starbucks or we go get Dunkin'. And literally every day for months we have done that. And it has, it, it helped me like get back on track, like have this schedule. So that has been very helpful. It's just like having something to look forward to, something to get my routine going because it's easy to lose yourself if you're just staying home taking care of kids. I do I do have severe anxiety. I've always had anxiety and my doctor I've been put on Zoloft twice, two different times since I've had my baby this year. And I will take it for a couple weeks and then I will stop because I just don't like how it fogs up my brain and I just can't think clearly. I want to be very present and like know what's going on and for me it kind of fogs my brain up and numbs me out where I don't even have emotions and I don't like that. So I stopped taking that twice <laughs> and one thing that I will say that has helped me tremendously is prayer. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, like you would think. But I started praying, asking God, please re get this out of my mind. Get these demons away from me. Help me to not have this depression. And I'm not even kidding. Like instantly, it's like whew, lifted off of me. And... The days I don't pray, that's when it's worse. The days I pray, I have a good day. So, I'm trying to do better in that department. I have recently got the Bible recap, which I've seen another YouTuber have, Courtney Danielle. i seen that she was using that in her videos, and it really inspired me. So, when i seen it in Walmart, I snatched it up. They are labeled at like $45, but we got it for like $35, so it was on sale. I have been reading my Bible, praying, and also having a routine. I also started to walk. I started to do 10,000 steps a day, and that has helped tremendously. Now, I kind of slacked off a little bit because it's easy to like get in the routine of not doing it anymore. 
but just moving your body and getting exercise will make you feel a thousand times better and it also helps with anxiety if you have a stressful day ahead ahead of you just getting up and like running for a little while getting your heart pumping you will feel so much better it like raises your heart rate but then it like lowers it and then you don't feel anxiety so that's kind of what's been happening with me i just want to talk about this now so that i can like put it behind me and I don't have to like think about this anymore. I want to move forward and I want to get better and I want to post more positive things, but I just was not in a positive place for a while. And I've just been taking it day by day, just trying to, trying to survive and just struggling. So I hope that me sharing my story about this has helped someone. Another thing that has truly helped me is watching other YouTubers. I started watch several other and just looking forward to to watching them has like really helped me and it is amazing that creators can create content at their house and they help other people so i hope that if anything i'm able to help just like one person make you feel better and just keep fighting that fight that we got this we got amazing kids we got amazing families my husband has been my rock. He has been there for me through this whole thing. I'm like sweating. Sorry. Oh my gosh. I'm sweating. Ooh, sorry. I'm hot. But my husband has been there for me through all of this. He is very understanding of this because he has went through something very similar. So he knows better than anybody about it. But he's, he's truly been amazing to me having a good husband we have grown so much closer being vulnerable with each other and i just want to give encouragement if you are struggling please reach out do things that make yourself happy having a self-care routine makes things so good and i will share more about that in the future but like i totally like i've amped up a lot of things and i'm just very thankful that i have y'all looking forward to talking with y'all does make a difference for me and i hope that i'm able to make a difference for you i love y'all so incredibly much thank you so much for watching today's video if you haven't yet definitely subscribe to my channel i also have an instagram and tiktok at morgan family underscore yt if you would like a shout out in one of my videos leave me a comment or question down below and i may answer for you or share it on one of my videos